my, is it time for January favorites already? Let's go then. Brown Girl Bella. Hey babes, it's me, Shannon for Brown Girl Bella, back again to bring you more lips, lashes, and luxury. And apparently, I forgot to give you January favorites, so uh, let's take care of that right now. So if you're new, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and then don't forget to tap that notification bell so you're notified each and every time I upload. I don't know about you, but I was sick of looking at me in sweats all the time. I'm like, hello? I am Miss Luxury Girl. Why am I in sweats all the time? I know it's a pandemic and those are my comfy clothes. I do love them. However, you know, sometimes a girl got to, you know, stun on them one time. So, since I can't go outside to stun, I figured I might as well just stun right here with you guys. Mwah. <laughs> all right, let's jump into these favorites, shall we? Let's go. So I'm going to start off with something I don't normally put on my favorites, but it's been one that I have been reaching for like nonstop. And that is my Joe Malone. I love these two fragrances. Um, one, funny story because one I got from my man and one I bought for myself but it was the fragrance that my man was supposed to buy but I don't know something got lost in translation anyway this is the uh, Fig and Lotus Flower by Joe Malone and this one is the 154 I love these two together I love these two separately it's just been like my go-to for the month of January and I also got from one of my influencer boxes I've been getting a lot of box boxes lately so shout out to you influencer for noticing your girl and wanting her to um, try your new products I love this Versace this is Dylan Turquoise and it's new in the market. It's out and available now at Sephora. Um, I was supposed to keep it hush hush until it's released and now it is so I can bring it to you. I said this when I first talked about it and I will say this again. This ish is sexy, sexy. I put it on and I was like, I'm feeling myself. <laughs> I was like, now I know what Beyonce was talking about, honey, because I am feeling myself. It just smelled, oh, it just smelled amazing on me. It has that nice, fresh, sunny day kind of fragrance to it. So it's perfect for the spring into the summer. I know a lot of women are going to be wearing this and a lot of women are going to love this. And you will too. And guys, Thank me for it later. I'm just saying. It's really cute. So now let's get into skincare and let's get into makeup. So for skincare, I have to shout out my company, Beauty Tab, because these two, I love. I really, really, really love these. These are by Orpheus. It is available exclusively to Beauty Tap. So, as I am a Beauty Tap advisor, you can check with me and I can guide you through how to get your hands on these products. One is a serum here, and one is an essence. It just means the same thing. It's a one two punch, it's full of great things to plump up your face, to rejuvenate your skin, to revitalize your cells and really get you on the path to great skincare. 
I love it. I love the packaging. This one lifts right out. And then this milky goodness right here, you just shake it up and you spritz it all over your face. Now you can use this to also set your makeup as well and it won't disturb anything on your face. It just gives you that nice hydrated glow. So you can use it with your makeup or you can use it as skincare. I've used it both ways and I will tell you it is amazing. Then try the serum. Now the serum opens up like this but then this one actually has a pump. So I won't use it on now but I use it this morning and I do use it at night as my nighttime routine. Amazing light fragrance. You don't even smell it. It's not overpowering. And what I love about this is that they have patented a formula called the Orpheus Flower Cell Peptide Complex. It is unique to this brand and it is only in the region that the company is based out of, which I believe is Belgium. And it boosts your skin's radiance. Over time, it's going to brighten the complexion and really give you a nice, healthy glow. And it also helps with any texture that's on your skin to help smooth that texture out and release the beautifulness that is in. It's like shining up a pearl. It's beautiful and it's very very lightweight so definitely if you're in the market for a new serum I would say try that as well and get them both together because they really work very well in conjunction with each other they're made to be both used together so you can get the maximum benefits from the product so definitely recommend this and like I said I am a beauty tap advisor, so if you want these, hit me up in the comment section below. I will send you my link and we will talk about the skincare products that are great for your skin. Okay, so now we're going to jump into some things that have been my favorites for a while now, but I just want to shout them out again. I want to say one more time, Pat McGrath for the win, Pat McGrath for the win. I love her concealer. This one is MD24 and then I brighten with MD21. I love these concealers. They will remain staples in my arsenal. Just fantastic. Also, this month, I've also been using Anastasia's Eye Primer exclusively for all of my eye looks. Yes, even the sparkly ones, and it's doing a fantastic job. It really helps my eye look really pop these days. I don't know if y'all noticed, but your girl's been having some really good eye looks lately. I'm just saying, and this has been helping me. So... Really shout out to Anastasia and this mini primer because it's changed the game for your girl. It really has. Okay, so new mascara alert. New mascara alert. New mascara alert. This is the Kosas, the Big Clean. And I'm feeling this mascara. It's a little weighty, so I kind of like that because it feels hefty in your hand. But the actual wand is not heavy at all. It is that C shape, so it does curl your lashes and gives it a nice volume as well. So I've been loving this. It even does a good job on my lower lash line, which we all know is like, the problem child for me. I really need like a small brush to get in there. But with this one, I find that it did not do a bad job with giving me what I need. 
So love that. Love this. Okay. I confess. I love everything that Pat McGrath does. Almost. <laughs> Almost everything. Because that last palette, I don't know. We still working on her. We still working on her. However, this Elson 3, baby. You want to talk about a sexy red lip? This is fire. This is fire. If y'all don't get this lipstick, I'm telling you, you are missing out. It is life personified. Get it and get your life. Get your edges together because they're going to be pulled after playing with this. Now, let's talk about brushes. This is new to my brush family of Fude brushes. This is the Year of the Ox and I think this is by Chica Holto, but I'm not sure because for once Beautylish did not name who made the brush which is strange because they usually do every year this year they did not so I don't know if it's their new um, line that did it I don't know if it's Chica Holto that did it but it's beautiful I love the detailing in the brush handle that's one of the things that I really love about these brushes, but also, I mean, the natural blue squirrel in here is just amazing. And it hugs your skin like no one's business. You can even load this up with powder and it does not overload your face. Like, as soon as you tap it off, it just falls off and gives you just the right amount in which to really go in and buff out your skin. It blurs any kind of imperfections. It smooths over any rough spots so I don't get any patchiness in the skin with the powder that may have stuck to dry skin. None of that. It's a good brush. It's an expensive brush, but it's a good brush. Okay, now I'm going to talk about something that was originally an oops, but I'm glad it was an oops. I'm glad I actually got it. It is by Charlotte Tilbury. This is something that I picked up in the little Sephora um, runway aisle as you're going out to check out. I was like, oh, powder. Let me grab it. I need powder. I need powder. But as it turn out, turns out, I did need it because this 3 Tan Powder is a perfect dupe for Pat McGrath's powder that I use for underneath my eye, which I'm currently out of. And my store that I go to now doesn't carry Pat McGrath all that much. They carry some things, but they don't carry her line. Where I used to live, they just got her line in, so they have more of a selection. But unfortunately, that's further away from me now. So I grabbed this on a whim, and lo, lo and behold, it actually worked for me. So this has been my go-to for underneath my eye. And I'm finding that I really, really enjoy this powder. And lastly, I don't talk enough about this, but it is really, really, really good. This is another one by Charlotte Tilbury. This is her setting spray. It's called the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Party all night, stay all day. Who's doing that? Not me. But if you want your makeup to last all day, even with you taking off and putting on your mask all day, grab this, spray your face, and then it's done. It's done. Just forget about it because this will help you throughout the entire day. Set it and forget it. I'm just saying. Work for me, it'll work for you. All right, so those were my outstanding products that I really wanted to talk about for January. I love these products. I think that 
you know, as we move further into the year, there's going to be a lot of great things coming up in the spring. And so I am ready to play with a couple of new things. We're still on a low buy, so we're not going crazy, but I'm ready to play with a couple of little things. So stick around for more talk on that. And of course, more what's new, what's now, what's next. And until I see you back here again, you have now been bellified. Take care and I'll see you back here soon.